we talk about Milwaukee? Do you want to talk yeah, about Milwaukee? Yeah, let's talk about Milwaukee. Uh, last Saturday, the day after, you know, we were running into Walls and running into Ross at the brewery. <laughs> well, I don't know which is worse. <laughs> Both enjoyable. Uh, Sandra and I headed up north to Milwaukee to catch a Milwaukee Brewers game. And they got destroyed. They they yeah. got stomped. It was what nine to one. Yep, nine to one was the final score. And it was funny because on the second inning, or maybe it was the third inning, this guy comes up to bat, and everyone starts in the crowd going moose, moose. And I'm like, what the fuck are they booing? Are, is that a thing that they're, they're just booing him? What did he do? And Zach explained that it's not booing. They're saying moose. Because his name is, what, Musinski? Or? I can't remember. It's, uh, it's like, Moose is his nickname. Yeah, so. so everyone calls him Moose. And again, in now in like the eighth inning, ninth inning, when it is nine to one, everyone is like shouting Moose again. And I say, are they are they still shouting Moose? And Sandra's like, no, <laughs> no, no. they're booing. No, they're booing <laughs> they <are> now. <laughs> Moose. <laughs> Moose. They, that, that crowd turned on the Brewers so quickly. It was amazing. Yeah. It, well, it don't was they in, always suck, though? No, the Brewers so. are actually like pretty, oh, are. pretty fucking good. Um, not that night they weren't. Oh my god, my brother actually told me that I'm banned from games because every time I go to one, that they fucking lose. <laughs> um, <laughs> that meanwhile, so we got free seats and Sandra just in there like, you know, oh, oh I'm yeah, that's for these fucking seats. That's like, right. So we pissed off this one dude sitting one row in front of us and about five seats over because my brother's girlfriend is there as well. And she and was with her friend who is married to a producer for Fox Sports. Yeah, who's there. And then my brother works for, is a video scout for the Brewers, mm-hmm. which is how we get the seats. And they're like really nice seats. We're, we're behind the plate, third base side, like 20 rows back. Like amazing fucking seats. And yeah. they're just sitting there talking about like about how much we don't really care or follow <laughs> baseball and and that I would probably never come to a game if I had to pay for it. <laughs> and this dude is so like he just keeps looking over at us, giving you know, like the angry dad stare. Yeah. Like that was what I was getting <laughs> from this guy. Like so <laughs> fucking like he's like like if I were younger, I'd beat your ass sort of fucking deal. Like so pissed off. And we're sitting and I'm sitting there like Half aware of that, what I'm saying is just makes me look like a piece of shit. Bougie, but, I think. Yeah, bougie it. was the word. Yeah, that I'm just sitting here going, "Oh, I don't pay for these tickets. <laughs> I barely care. Let's get drunk." <laughs> <laughs> of course. And, and of course, Jacqueline was. Jacqueline had drank a lot of wine before and during the game, and we weren't sober either. That no, certainly not. Uh, I was still recovering from the night before. Uh, yeah, uh, just the past week has been a blur of of booze and debauchery. Yes, so go to the game. Awesome time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Nine to one slaughter, but that's cool. We go to a bar called Drink Wisconsinably, and <laughs> I think that one gentleman at the bar really defined what <laughs> drinking Wisconsinably means. When he fell in between the ramp and the stairs outside. He did. <laughs> oh, yes, he did. God, I think he couldn't make a decision as to which one to take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck he, it. he hit the median. Yeah. Dude, I, and then he got in his car. And then <laughs> Yeah, drove. Oh, my God. There's this birthday party there, and they were so obnoxious. Was it, was yeah, but there's that like one. The the Brown's one. chicken logo. <laughs> no, <laughs> no not, spread? not quite, but... <laughs> Uh, uh, and then we went to what was it? The Blackbird, Blackbird dive. I fell in love with an Uber driver. Yeah, he he did fall in love with an Uber driver. And Bill can get away with anything. And he was flirting with this girl. Was first off very receptive. You should have. You should have. I invited gone for her. her. You, you invited her, her and she podcast. and she considered. That's the thing that kind of got me about it. Is like, I could see her going like, maybe. So. And, Here's the uncomfortable position I'm in right now. Like, I want to give a quick shout out to Emily, the beautiful Uber driver from Dixon, Illinois. And if you're listening, like, you know, like wow, me on you Facebook, remembered those details. I was so hammered at that <laughs> point. <laughs> so, well, the thing is, like, I'm you know doing the shout out, like Emily, I she's miss you, one. I love you. Yeah, she's the one. But also, if she's listening to this, she's not going to want to have anything to do with me because she'll be like, "Oh my god, this guy's pretty." I awful. hope she's listening <laughs> to this. That means we're doing well. <laughs> right? <If> she, yeah. <laughs> somehow she—I uh, don't think we talked about the podcast. Should have given car. her a business card. 
Bill, there you go. That's why you have them. Just look at your phone, man. ETA. You know what? You Uber friend. You've given me a business card on like five separate occasions, but I've never seen you hand one out to someone that you don't know. <laughs> that what the, what what it, card? The business card. Oh, the business. Yeah, for the Dude, podcast. That, that's what I'm going to do. I taste Polonia the whole time. You just, get, you just get hand free them out. Pierogi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <it's> pierogies. <laughs> Update on EJ pierogies and and auto shop. <laughs> um, so. Apparently, EJ is out of the business because their new sign has EJ's spray painted blacked out and has for weeks. So it wasn't graffiti. (laughs) And that was, it just says pierogies now. (laughs) EJ's is gone from the sign. And this, there's no way that that didn't end with bad blood because they just like, roughly spray painted it out they didn't get a new sign they didn't even take the time to make it the same color it's black (laughs) fucking spray paint over the name ej they were doing that as they were kicking this motherfucker out the door like look at this fuck you ej you're gone now grab the letter grab the can now oh my god i saw that i started dying (laughs) grab the expired ones and throw it at them right yeah yeah. i also got my brakes completely uh redone there they work now so did you get some pierogies? Uh, I didn't. I, I was a little disappointed. I should have. But is this place that your brakes done and pierogies? That's yeah. right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've it, never heard it, of EJ pierogies? It, 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 <laughs> drove, it drove Zach nuts that it's built right c- touching each other. <laughs> like, you get, it is. You get a There's a, with an oil it, change. It's attached to, first off, this isn't like a strip mall. It's a standalone building. This is the only thing on this lot. It's a Tarantino is, movie. It, well, it's, <laughs> I feel like this makes it way better. Oh, it's a, their service is really good. Yeah, so it's an auto body shop work. slash Polish restaurant. And, EJ yeah. Pierogi's. Yeah, they have Polish reviews, reviews, I mean, that's, that's pretty innovative. Like exactly, go there. it's supposed to be really good. Except for <laughs> except for the rating that was obviously done by another Polish restaurant <laughs> or EJ. Maybe EJ was <laughs> yeah, spiteful. Maybe, EJ, maybe EJ's all pissed Dude, off. This place sucks. Off it. That shit is so weird. When people who get fired go nuts at the like the work. Well, obviously with this fucking guy smoking weed with the students. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. But, but no, when, when I worked at a when I worked at a library in Norwich, um, they there was a head of security guy, and he and he used to like always. He just used to always pull shit there, fuck with people. This guy was like 50, and he would like be, you know, like when he knew he was in trouble, he's like, all right, we can fuck around. Oh, no, he's on his way. He's walking through that room, through this room. And he would like purposely, like if, they, if they'd if be in the middle of like a card game or something, he would want to throw them down just at the moment when somebody's opening the door so that he looks like he's trying to cover up, but they see it just to fuck with them. Do you get what I'm saying? No. <laughs> like, like okay, so like so like if you're my supervisor, right, and you don't want to catch me fucking around or like texting on the job, right? Yeah. And then I'm watching you on a because he was security for the library. Oh, so he could see it. Yeah. So he would watch right. right when you come in, so that you do catch me, but you don't really catch me. So th- so you know that I'm not working, but you don't got any evidence because I'm in charge of camera, you know. Yeah. So when he fucking when he he got fired. He like had like all these leaks into the library, constantly setting fucking threats about like, oh, geez. I see you, I'm watching you right now. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> he, he worked there for like 20 years. I got fired there for a really fucked up reason. I don't know if I told you this about the about the marine guy and about me releasing confidential information. Did, no. did I mention this what? before, Bill? No. I don't. I've, I know the story. I don't know if you've told it on the podcast. Okay. Well, I, I have not heard well, the story. Well, lo- long story short, like, don't work at a fucking library. I unless. did actually. I loved that job. I used well, to sleep in the stacks. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, all right. No shit. I w- I would shelve books. This was in high school, and when I was tired, I would go up to the hundreds uh, and biographies section. Because no one ever fucking went there, sure. and I would sleep at the end of one of the stacks. <laughs> Did anyone ever like wake you up like, hey? Uh, my girlfriend at the time did once. Uh, also, I was banned from the children's section. Long story. <laughs> oh, we want to hear about that. Uh, her and I fooled around in in the stacks of the children's section, got busted doing <laughs> it. And then, oh no! <laughs> now you didn't have to register as a sex offender, right? No, no, no. I wasn't arrested, and like, there was no nudity involved, but we were definitely fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the fucked up reason you got fired no, no, so, for? So okay, so when I worked there, um I okay, I uh I went to this um it's hard to, so I got this job through uh I, I'm cool with the president there. 
he's like this old dude who used to be, he, he's he's good friends with Stan Lee and he draws really? his own comics. And he's a really cool old dude. He we we became friends because I took this accelerated college program mm-hmm. which was basically like you know every everybody drops out junior year because they get fucking nuts with all this shit. Yeah. And they take a year off and then they never come back. So they had this program where like basically you have a final each Friday. And you have homework, like three fucking papers to do each day. So a semester is compressed into like one month instead of like a that fucking That sounds year. fucking horrible. It, it was it was pretty nuts. But uh, but you know what the funniest part was that, that um, I'm really good at writing papers. So I, I actually had like like a, a lot of like, I had like three Spanish ladies who couldn't speak English and I would write their papers. And all I did was get a thesaurus out and just copy <laughs> Copy paper your paper with, with different, different words. words. Yeah. yeah. But I'm um, sure no one caught on to that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, what's called? Um, so yeah, I worked at this library, and like, dude, I did not fit in at all because I I have a v- super fucking strong ethic. I'm working sixty hours a week now, so when I'd work there, I mean, I'd get my shit done right away and like listen to my iPod, and I'll be like, oh, you got all these books to check in that you're supposed to take six hours to do or something. Yeah, and I'd get it done in one hour. No, that's exactly that's why I would sleep in the stacks. Yeah, that's, yeah, exa- yeah. that's exactly how that worked. Or pull out. around in the children's or section. Pull around in the children's. That was yeah. uh, I, in my defense, I wasn't on the clock for that. She was, <laughs> but I was. I caught you. <laughs> but I was banned though. No, but so so um before I took the college class, I had a welding class that uh, what yeah I took a welding certificate class where it teaches you every type of welding, and there was a PTSD marine that I took it with. Mm-hmm. and he was super tweakish he was the kind of guy he had such bad anxiety he'd be like like if i was having a concert hey zach how's it going wait why aren't you answering why, why are you twirling that pen are you, are you thinking about me what's wrong <laughs> wait <laughs> come on dude, dude are we still friends and he's like start breaking down like he was so incredibly tweakish and yeah. i took the class. I, I, I i didn't know that he lived in norwich and went to that library and he would come once in a while and talk to everybody so I got pr- I get promoted and we have a meeting and they're like, does anybody know about this fucking guy? Like that's the, that's the end of the meeting. We talk about like, all right, this is how we're gonna, you know, reformat this software and this is how we're gonna we're gonna move this section to this section. Anybody know about this fucking weird guy who comes in and <laughs> tweaks out? Is he gonna shoot up the place or something? And I was like. I wasn't offended, but everybody there was constantly reporting me for being offended by me. So I'm like, you know what? That's fucked up because I know that guy. He's a Marine and he's got like some issues. I don't think we should end a meeting like that. And ever since then, nobody talked to him. So now he started coming in. Be like, dude, nobody's talking to me. What's wrong? Oh, <laughs> which, all, which probably only made it fucking worse, yeah. right? Uh. And, and I was like so pissed off that I told him the story about how like, oh, they think you're going to shoot up the place. So they <laughs> took me to the fucking like... You, you know, like one on one with the boss. Yeah, I was gonna call it interrogation room, <laughs> <laughs> but that was a different kind <laughs> of library. <huh? laughs> yeah, it was the prison library. You know, Doctor Zeus. You know, we're going back to that original theme we were talking right. about earlier. <laughs> the torture room. <laughs> yeah, the torture room. <laughs> Anyways, they t- they fired me for releasing confidential information. That's releasing cons- That's confidential to be talking shit about someone shooting up the place. I feel like that's so. a flimsy. Reasoning, yeah. Well, they're probably looking to make cuts anyway. They fired the security guard who had been there for twenty years. Oh, they they definitely wanted to fire me. <laughs> they, they definitely wanted to fire me. But why'd they fire the security guard? I I think it was just because just because he was sleeping and doing whatever the fuck he wants. Like, like oh, they they, they finally <laughs> caught him. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, he had like four people uh, underneath him, like the guys who actually like browse the library and check like yeah. you know maintenance and shit, and he would just sit in the room and do nothing. I think he, I don't I, I I don't really remember to be honest, but yeah I I would not want to work there again. Huh. But uh, my experience was great. I I had fun in the library. It sounds did like you, it. You, <laughs> <laughs> Define fun. All right. Yeah. So that happened a few times. Not in only once in a children's section. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time it was upstairs in it, the in the hundreds or the seven hundreds. Always by the Bibles, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there are no kids up there. Well, I mean, we're not fucking in the. We weren't like <laughs> fucking in the in the public. Yeah. Se- I'm not a big public sex guy, but Can we hey, if she's gonna come up there, we're gonna, we're gonna fuck around. Like I'm open to it. Sure. 
Right, when you're not sleeping. <laughs> when I'm not, but yeah, when, as long as she doesn't wake me from my nap. Right. <laughs> All right, honey, can we do this position? Right, yes. Dewey Decimal point five hundred. I did really. There, six. there was a pri- there's a room back there, a storage room that I really wanted to fuck her in there. I really, really did. <laughs> <laughs> I we why? never we never got it. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I'm not. I don't like public sex. Like I don't get a rush off of it. But for some reason, I always wanted to fuck in that room. They stored all the old uh, Time magazines going back to like, <laughs> <laughs> and like uh, old Wheaton newspapers in that room. So you wanted to be a you part of history. To do it with yeah. Time machine. <laughs> God. Just yeah, essentially. It's I, tasteful. Uh, <laughs> speaking of a baseball game, um, uh, my fiance won tickets to. So it, it's funny because the more podcasts I listen to, there's like at least six comedians that I've heard mention how much they fucking hate Zanies in Schaumburg. Because they're like, it's not Chicago. It's fucking 20 minutes away. Or, or no, it's an hour away. It's 20 miles away. What the fuck? I've so, actually heard a lot of comedians bitch about Zanies. Yeah. yeah. What, just in general? or Just, just, in, that? just in general. Not specifically that one. Because there's one in, uh, was that? The Old city, Town? yeah. But I've definitely heard I've no, definitely they, heard comedians talk about how much they hate fucking Zanies. No, they they specifically mentioned like Schaumburg because it's really? so fucking far out. Yeah, and the thing that I think is funny, I didn't know, I didn't know until I went on a bike ride. Uh, there's a huge baseball stadium, like right, like like maybe a mile yeah, the away. Flyers, right? The Boomers. Oh, the Boomers. Oh, that's right, that's right. The I always thought that was funny. The Schaumburg Boomers. Yeah. I, um, I don't think any more. There was some sort of mushrooms reference in one of their at, at one point in one of their logos. <laughs> That's I, pretty funny. And I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> well, we we went, dude, and like the way you were talking about how like, oh, these are free tickets. I don't give a fuck about this game. We yeah. took Gavin and his friend, and like the whole time they're like trying to race around the rows because nobody is at this fucking game. <laughs> yeah, they don't have and a following. The, they're and, a minor and, league team. <laughs> Gavin goes up to me. He's like, "Wow, it's right. You're right. All baseball fans are super obese." <laughs> like, <laughs> <look at us. laughs> And um and and the funny thing is like, um, in outfield, you know how like the, the scoreboard is usually in the middle. Yeah. And there's like left outfield or right up in the left. There's actually like three huge inflatable fun houses because of how boring fucking kids, bored kids get at these games. <laughs> there's a uh, at at Milwaukee at uh, Miller Park. I don't know how. I think. I think they make their mascot go down it. Like, there's a giant, like, four-story, like, slide in in left field. And I don't, I don't rem- There's something to do with their mascot. Like, they so throw gotta, it down it or some the, shit. You gotta sing the whole anthem while you're going to, oh, say you you say Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, did they do so, so many songs. And we saw... Uh, Sisters of Harmony. Sisters of Harmony. Big shout out to Sisters of That's Harmony. Right. They're We're fucking rock stars. Yeah. And, and they Sister killed Mercy. It. No, I think... They're a, like a spinoff band or super group. Yeah, super group out of uh, rural Wisconsin. Yeah. and uh, that sounds super to me. Uh, dude, they rock. <laughs> they rock their uh, church chorus. But so the mascot is this dude with red hair, red beard, in like lederhosen, and his name is Bernie Brewer. And the story goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, before you do the story, we heard this from Jacqueline, my brother's girlfriend, drunk as hell off of red wine, and I could not confirm any of this story. I looked it up and I saw that there are articles, but I didn't care to read any of them because I'm not that interested. But it is kind of an. It's not really that interesting, but I'm going to share it anyway. I think it's kind of interesting. So back in the 60s, I think Brewers fandom was at an all time low. And there was a super fan named Bernie who would go in Lederhosen and I, I, I don't, just go to baseball games a lot. And Big I, Brewers fan. Is yeah. he related to you? Uh, no, no. You but said the red hair. I imagine I'm probably a spitting image of him. Maybe, maybe not. So the story goes that to get more fans to come to the games, Bernie lived on top of the scoreboard until they reached like max capacity and when that finally happened they had to bring a slide in to get him off the scoreboard that's what the slide is for that's yeah, what the spe- slide is for yes i didn't know that, that well, i'm assuming right it's, wouldn't that make sense that does make sense yeah this is that that's fucking insane that story how like what do, people, let's is go that, to the baseball game to get that sad man down yeah, from like, the sign. Is, like, is that like some kind of weird version of a hunger strike? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going to live up here until this place is full, goddammit. I'm protesting the indifference to baseball. 
the world's most boring sport. Speaking of people doing sport. naughty things in r- wrong section, right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I regret telling that story. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, that's like fucking sane, and I don't believe a word of it. Uh, and so what? Like, he just lived off of, like, ballpark food? I don't know how long he was up there. There's a lot of questions. Yeah, because it sounded to me like they were real unpopular at the time, and it didn't seem like it was going to happen like within a season. Like, does he not <laughs> have a job? How long did he live up there? Obviously, he did not have a job. Uh, or actually, I think it'd be even funnier if he just like telecommuted. Yeah, right. Yeah, in the in the sixties. Yep. <laughs>